COVID-19 has affected every country across the globe differently. In countries like Brazil, England, and China, people have been trying to slow the spread of the virus and daily lives have changed for everyone. My name is Simon Olsen. I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is sort of like the New York of Brazil and Latin America. Uh, in some places in the world, they had a peak. So COVID cases rose and then they fell and now they're rising again. In Brazil, they say we had a plateau. So uh, cases rose and never stopped. It never uh, decelerated. There was a crisis of leadership. So um, the president was just basically uh, trying to ignore it for a long time. That sort of leadership vacuum opened up space for other people to enter. It brought out the best in people because people basically said, hey, we can't rely on the government to help us, so we really need to take things into our own hands. And as a result, that put the onus of responsibility on individuals to uh, really do everything they could to protect themselves. Because of the situation in China, we were not allowed to go out of even our homes or compounds without the mask. And we were also chased by the government via some apps. The government was working with the GSM companies. So they were knowing the people who have been to the risky areas. So they were following us. <laughs> At the end of the day, what I see, this worked. And that's why the cases dramatically drops down in only two, three months. There is no big lockdown in China right now. And we even don't need to put on masks when we are going out. The schools are open. So no big issues. So in the UK, um, they do tier systems depending on how many COVID cases there are. We live in Oxford. This is tier two. That means you can go out, but you can't mix with others in those in the households. In general, obviously the COVID, I think for all of us, made us appreciate all the things we have taken for granted. But I try to kind of take the positive side and you know they're utilizing all the technologies to see my friends and family back in Turkey and knowing that this set period and it's going to go back to a new normal hopefully soon it's just trying to make most of it. Reporting for Scott Center News I'm Ria Yaman and I'm Phoebe Golson. 